Red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing, man? I tell what you, were man. You, were you picturing something? Because I was not. No, no, I'm I'm trying not to think about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just I'm not smelling. Thinking, I'm not thinking I'm about smelling. things that are like and it. And then I'm, I'm like about color. Good mythical morning. We're about to find out if human brains, or at least these human brains, mm. have the ability to smell colors. And today's episode is sponsored by KiwiCo. KiwiCo is defining the future of play by making it engaging, enriching, and seriously fun. Mm -hmm. They create really cool hands-on projects and toys designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Ooh. And every project is delivered in one of these awesome monthly crates. Yeah, here it is. Now, uh, we're big fans of KiwiCo in our house. Lando loves doing these projects. I wanna show you one of them he made. This is the hydraulic claw crate, which he completed all on his own and learned about hydraulics in the process. Hey, come here, Dad. Let me let me grab you. Look at that thing. Let me let me grab you by the by the finger. We went to engineering school, and I still don't quite understand it. <laughs> uh, he's very meticulous and fastidious when he goes about these monthly. Uh, projects and I have no idea where he gets it from. Well, Shep tackled the glowing pendulum crate. Let's dim the lights to demonstrate this thing. Oh, this is pretty it, cool, check this it. out. Like, oh, what, 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 what? That's a cool All one. All of this stuff just seems like magic to me. Now listen, Shep is Science. not known for sitting down and focusing on one thing for an extended period of time, but he did just that with this and I ain't complaining about uh -uh. that. Each monthly crate is designed by experts and teaches a new theme through hands-on learning and fun. And the really cool thing is there are crates for all ages and every crate comes with everything you need inside for the project. No running around looking for scissors or special nuts. Nobody wants to go around looking for special nuts. Yeah. I ain't no squirrel. Yeah. Everything is in the crate. And by the way, it is officially holiday shopping time and KiwiCo crates make for really fun and unique gifts for just about anybody. Mm-hmm, and right now, Mythical Beast, you can try your first month of KiwiCo for free by going to kiwico.com slash GMM or clicking the link in the description. That's kiwico.com slash GMM. Yes, now for today, we're asking one question. Can we smell colors? And allow me to phrase that as a scientific query. Okay. Can we have fun with how our olfactory receptors are affected by the presence of specific colors in a series of quasi-scientific experiments? Mm. Hypothesis? Yes? It's time for What Does Green Smell Like? We're about to find out. And would a red bass smell different than a dang rainbow trout? Boop, 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 boop. That's right, it's research time now. While well, neither of us have synesthesia, no. which is a condition in which two or more senses are involuntarily connected. Link has proven on this show that he has the unique superhuman ability to taste the colors of M&Ms, but only M&Ms. Right, so uh, today we're gonna be replicating a series of actual scientific tests to examine the strength of our color odor connections and maybe find out if at least one of us can, in fact, smell colors. All right, Stevie, tell us what our noses are in for. A study out of the University of Sao Paulo examined the use of color in perfume packaging and whether certain package colors better reflect the message of a fragrance. Okay. To do this, they asked participants what colors they associated with the scent of a specific perfume and then matched the results to actual packaging. The goal was to see if olfactory perception and color perception are at all linked. Yes, yes. In front of you are three perfumes and three colored boxes. See yes. that? Can you work together Feels to like smell Sesame each <laughs> perfume and match them to their packaging based purely on scent? Of course. All right, so number one, hi, uh, we're gonna spray these on We're gonna spray these on paper. cards, just just like they do at the department store when they got those little uh, pieces of paper you spray on. Did that? More, yeah. There we go, okay. I'm gonna it gets a little close. Oh, you're getting close. I can smell it from here. That feels like it could be a man's cologne. It's I know. Not, I know that it's not too heavy. I know that it's. There's, in fact, mythical number five was a unisex cologne, but this feels. Now, first of all, this one is wood colored. It's not just black. If you look closely, oh, that's, yeah, a, that's a wood green. So if you smell like a, you know, I'm a wood man. Now you put it on number two, but this is number one. So, <laughs> so you're not really helping us here. So give me number one. Sorry. And we'll put, I'll put it on number two. Oh gosh. Don't put it on number three. At I'm, least just, we can... I'm just trying to make it even, even more confusing. All right, so, and then, so here's number uh, two. 
which is on card number one. Orange. That feels orange to me. Super orange. Orange? Oh. It almost smells like an orange. So is that number two or number one? It does have a citrus hint. That's so number two this, and this you is, put it on This number is number one. two on card number one, which we're saying goes Let's just do with it. orange. And I feel like yeah, this one goes for with, now, with this one. And so we're, we're that, thinking we're gonna smell something pink on this last one. Should I shake this one up? Always shake it. You always shake up your perfume? Perfume? Perfume. Always shake up perfume. Okay, let me let me sniff first this time because you're always, you're spoiling it for me. Okay. Okay, that one is floral. Oh, pink! It, that's so pink. I would that definitely is, think that's pink. That smells like some grandma stuff right there. <laughs> so there we there we go. We've got one, two, three, right in that right in that order, Stevie. That's what we're thinking. Make quick work of that. Ha! <laughs> Our noses are so smart. Take that, Sao Paulo. Okay, the study found that according to its participants, certain smells are represented by certain colors. Yes. So using package colors that capitalize on this correspondence between vision and olfaction may increase a company's influence over the consumer. Mm -hmm. Bottle That's number over. one is Ballroom by B. Soleflore. It has notes of honeysuckle, magnolia, and daffodil, and comes in the pink oh, box. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. You were so adamant. You were so adamant. But, so. So, but you agreed with me. Wait, I mean, because you were so adamant. But hold on, but it seems so obvious to me. So we're, we're switching these. We're all right. So that has to be. Hold on, give me number. Give, give me the things again, so we can smell them. Because I, I no, got, no, the come is over. No, no. Let's find out if we we're if we we're right about the switch. Because I know that this orange is right. Bottle number two is Happy by Clinique, a fragrance ah. that contains hints of melon, grapefruit. And Mandarin, and it comes in the orange box. So you yeah, are correct. Right. I just I have to I have to do this just for my own sake. We were good about we were good with that one. That one was pretty obvious. And Happy. bottle number three is black walnut by Banana Republic. It has hints of cognac, tobacco, and cedar, and comes in the brown box. Yeah, I smell so that's that where now. I'm confused. What you guys smelled? <laughs> what I've just learned is that. If you see the box, then it helps you interpret the color. That's the way they want it to work anyway. Yeah, it kind of has reconciled itself in my mind now. <laughs> Is that as close as we're gonna get to an apology? <laughs> yeah, I don't have to apologize. I think <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, Stevie, what's next for our noses? A study in the science journal PLOS One oh, yeah, asked Plus a One. group of about 20 people from different cultures to blindly smell a collection of different scents and say what colors were most evoked by each one. Okay. They found consistent patterns and color odor connect connections within each culture, mm. possibly due to shared experiences, dietary habits, the role of fragrances in each society, and other social factors. Just general culture. If odor color associations are consistent within cultures, two guys who grew up in the same place with the same experiences and the same first girlfriend should smell similar colors, right? We're gonna smell our first girlfriend? Okay. Nope. I want you both to smell these potent extracts and oils and say what color you think of when you smell each scent. So you're gonna smell a scent, and then I'm gonna give you a three, two, one, and then you're gonna say a color. Hey, let's get in, right. get, let's get right. in sync, man. We gotta get in Harnett County sync. All right, but br breathe the sink. Back in br Harnett County. In. I'm smelling the tobacco fields. Yeah, we're there. That's pretty much the the, yeah. the predominant scent in Harnett County. I feel like we're in sync. All right, bring in the sticks. Got a color? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yellow. Yellow. Yes! <laughs> yes, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, because yeah. Cause it smelled like yellow. It just, yeah, it, it was kinda, <laughs> it had a sour. Yeah. Not a citrus, just yellow. But it was just had a yellow. I don't, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Okay, scent number two. You smell a color? Oh, I, oh. I, I could get really specific with this. Okay, three, two, one. Red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing, man? I tell what you, were man. You, were you picturing something? Because I was not. No, no, I'm, I'm trying not to think about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just I'm not smelling. Thinking, I'm not thinking I'm about smelling, things that are like and it. Then I'm, I'm thinking like, about colors and the color, way they smell. And I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm driving down the country road. All right, County. Okay, let's go for another. Mm-hmm. Ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Brown. Purple. 
Okay, we're both oh, dark. Oh, hmm. You know, uh, 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 if you add if you add uh, red to purple, I think you get brown. Right, that's true. Yeah, if you leave purple outside too long, it turns brown. That's what it is. It's that's okay. It. You have one more purple. <laughs> one more chance. Let's smell this last one. Ready? No. Okay. Oh wow! I don't know about this one. Three, two, one. White. White. Yeah! <laughs> We're back on top, baby. <laughs> what? You know, it's just, it's totally science. <laughs> yeah, it matches the experiment. So this experiment also found that certain color odor associations were universal. For example, the US, Germany, China, and the Netherlands all paired fruity odors with pink and red colors hmm. and musty odors with orange and browns. Interestingly, orange. most countries associated the smell of plastic with black, gray, or white, but Germany associated with it it with pastels like blue, orange, and pink. Oh, German pastels. All right, we have wines. Hit us with the test. We all know that aroma is an important factor when enjoying wine. Of course. But another defining characteristic of wine is color. These glasses have all been treated to look the same. Smell each one and tell me which are truly red wines and which are white wines by pushing the red wine glasses forward. Okay. And please describe the nose of the wine as you sniff, starting with number one. So here we go. Just the nose, huh? Oh my gosh! This, I keep thinking I'm gonna. I think I think it I'm. Smells like wine. I think I'm going to know, and then I second guess myself. It, it is not a lot to it. It's definitely not. There's not a thickness. It, in other words, if it's a if it's a red, it's like a pinot. I just smell like a a light a light floaty wine. I don't know, man. We got to move on. I, I'm going to push it forward because it smells like a red. very light bodied red wine, which just probably means it's a white wine. And then this one. Ooh, this one stank. This one got some. Does this one have some fish in it? Is this where the red bass comes in? Yeah, this is red bass wine. Only the young virgin red bass. It's a, <laughs> and we squeeze them. It's a, this is this has a sourier. I'm gonna definitely leave this one right here and not push it forward. Yeah, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna even pull that one back a little bit. Pull it back then. Cause Why that don't one. You? Now we're off to number three. Oh, that smells like nothing I've ever smelled in the wine department. I think I'm just smelling the glass. I think this may just be water. What the heck is that? There's no. There's. I'm not. I'm. I'm not smelling of that. I'm gonna leave this one there. I'm not pushing that forward just because. Just because it doesn't smell like any wine I've ever had, and I usually drink red, so I'm just gonna keep, keep it there. I mean, this one that I didn't, did, did, didn't think I have a strong nose now has a strong Hold on, so you now pushing this forward? Well, I've pulled these two back. <laughs> oh, but okay. But you're saying they're all white so far. I have, but that's why I'm, I'm going back and saying that that one has to be. Okay, and the fourth one. There we go. Now we got some tannins kicking in. Boy, I'm smelling a saddle. That one's going forward. That one definitely smells red to right. me. So that's I, that's what I'm saying. I'm and saying I'm, one and four red, two and three white. And yeah. You're green. I, I am. I wasn't, but now I am. Okay. Yes. The first glass is a red cab. Oh, cab. It's a good job. Mm -hmm. The it's second actually stronger glass than I thought it was. is a white Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. That's yeah. so. I have never said that out loud before. I don't order that wine. Sauvignon I, Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. The fourth glass is a red Chianti. That is okay. right. Yeah, and now the third. And the third glass was coconut water. <laughs> <laughs> right. It yeah, was... we were like, that ain't wine. Okay, so this was inspired by a Stanford experiment where the white wine dyed with odorless red food coloring was perceived as having the odors of a red wine. The subjects also chose it. odors represented by red or dark objects to describe the white wine, proving that color not only facilitates odor identifications, but can also influence judgments of odor intensity and pleasantness. Unless you're like, you know, a sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> like us. <laughs> you know, red yeah. bass and saddles. <laughs> That's the world we live in. Red Bass and Saddles is our new wine shop. <laughs> well, as you can see, we can't. Uh, so, Stevie, you're going to have to tell us what to do. Everything will be okay. Mm. Okay, thank, thank you. you. The previous tests have shown us that olfactory responses are highly influenced by color. Well, let's take away your sight and see how well you can just straight up smell color. Okay. You will now be presented with a series of foods, each of which comes in a variety of colors. Let's bring in the first food. 
I mean, just for funsies, though, do you know what this is? Or, it, or well, it's an apple. Is it there? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. So I it's cauliflower. Cold. It's cauliflower. Oh, yeah, the Should cauliflower be a little, little farty. Oh. So you're guessing if it's white or purple, and I'm going to give you a three, two, one. Purple? What? It, it, well, what, what? yeah, you've never seen a purple cauliflower? Yeah, you never seen purple cauliflower? This is going well. Three, two, one. White. Purple. It's white. Yeah, right. Oh, because you never heard of purple. <laughs> right. It doesn't exist. That was a trick question. Okay. The next food. It's rice. So you're trying to guess. Oh, okay. I can smell is it the now. rice white or brown? I've heard of this brown rice. 50 50 chance, right? Three. Oh, you could just smell and know. Two. One. Brown. White. It's white. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here's the next food. It's carrots. Carrots. So these can, I, you know, there's so many colors of carrots. There's orange and uh, there's purple carrots too. Yeah, purple. Three, two, one. Mm, purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. purple. Yeah, they're purple. Yeah, they're yeah. Purple. I can smell that. Yeah, it was something about like an acidity the to scent. Yeah, yeah, you guys really own that one. Yeah. Okay, next. I think this is your favorite. Oh, it is? They're tomatoes. They're not even cut open or anything, oh. so. I thought you'd brought my wife under here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Red or yellow tomatoes is what you're guessing. Okay. Three, two, one. Yellow. Red. They're yellow. Oh. I just, yep. I, I keep off, my distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, ready? You should be able to, I think you might be able to smell what this is. Uh, uh, corn chips. Corn? Yeah. Are they so blue? Are they are yellow? They... Yep. What? Yellow or blue. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Blue. blue. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. We're, we're in sync Yeah, now. that's blue corn. We're back Those in Harnett blue. County. I think you guys tied. I think it's the Harnett County tie. Are we done? Yeah, you're done. You can take off your blindfolds. All right, so can we uh, see colors? Yes. <laughs> can we see colors? Yep. Can, Can we, we smell them? Sometimes. Kinda. <laughs> Science. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. And there is a strong association, and that's all that matters. That's right. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Brienne. I'm Jacob. We're sand sledding at Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado, and it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I hope it's as fun as they make oh. it seem like they're about to have. The walking back up is not. Ah, you gotta get a lift. Click the top link to watch us take a wine essence smell test in Good Mythical Morning. Yeah, and to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Curious about the Mythical Society? Well, in celebration of my birthday, new purchases of second and third degree monthly and quarterly plans are available at a huge discount through October 21st. Join at mythicalsociety.com.